Hi, this is Dr. Matthew Ziegelman, urologist at Mayo Clinic specializing in Peyronie's disease. Here today for another Mayo Clinic Men's Health Moment. Today I'd like to discuss a concept known as penile traction therapy, also known as penile stretching. Treatment for Peyronie's disease is determined by several factors, such as how bothered you are by your symptoms, how severe your symptoms are, and how long they have been present. We also consider other concerns, such as erectile dysfunction. If the symptoms are not particularly bothersome, observation alone is reasonable. However, many patients desire active treatment. Here, we will discuss penile stretching, also known as penile traction therapy for the treatment of Peyronie's disease. So what is penile stretching or penile traction therapy, which is the technical term? Penile traction is stretching the penis with a self-applied mechanical device. Stretching of the penis, and in particular stretching of the scar tissue in men with Peyronie's disease, can result in changes to the scar tissue at the cellular level. This process is known as mechanical transduction, meaning that mechanical forces can cause biological changes. There is actually scientific evidence showing that applying a force to a Peyronie's disease scar results in changes to that scar tissue. Specifically, the body can actually increase certain enzymes which are proteins that break down collagen. And collagen is the primary component in here. This allows the body to actually repair the scar and replace that scar with normal type tissues. There are multiple other examples within different fields of medicine where traction is used, such as braces to straighten the teeth or fixators to correct orthopedic concerns like broken bones or scoliosis, which is curvature of the spine. So what are the benefits of penile traction therapy for Peyronie's disease? Well, there are multiple potential benefits. Penile traction therapy is the only treatment shown to improve penile length. Penile traction therapy may improve penile curvature and indentation or other changes to the shape of the penis as well. It is one of the only therapies that has shown benefit during the early or acute phase of Peyronie's disease. It tends to be relatively inexpensive if you compare this to other forms of treatment, and it can be performed in the comfort and privacy of your home. It also has very few significant side effects. All of these make it an excellent treatment option. There are multiple penile traction devices that are available. Many of these devices were not specifically de designed for Peyronie's disease, but were in fact designed to treat men who had concerns about their penile length in general. Several studies have been performed on penile traction therapy in Peyronie's disease patients dating back to the early 2000s. The devices differ somewhat in their design, which ultimately leads to difference in the effectiveness, as well as how long you need to wear these devices to achieve a benefit. So there are some studies showing that certain devices can be worn as little as 30 to 90 minutes per day, and other studies suggesting men need to wear devices for three to eight hours daily to achieve benefits. Some examples of commonly used penile traction devices include the Restorex device, the Peony Master Pro, and the Andropenis. It is important to emphasize that no study has directly compared these traction devices with one another. Several years ago, a urologist at Mayo Clinic actually worked with the engineers here to develop what is known as the Restorex penile traction system. Now, they designed this system to specifically address what were considered shortcomings with some of the other available devices, and the device was specifically designed for patients with Peyronie's disease. Certain aspects of the device that were considered unique included a more comfortable clamping mechanism to hold the device in place, the ability to change the amount of force that is applied to the penis while keeping the device on, so not needing to remove the device to increase the amount of tension, and the ability to apply counter bending. What we mean by this is the ability to bend the penis with the device on in the direction opposite the curve. We recently published a study at Mayo Clinic that included 110 men randomized to either use the penile traction system with Restorex for 30 to 90 minutes per day, or to simply be observed without using traction for a total of three months. In the men who utilized traction, we saw an average increase in penile length of 1.5 centimeters, 
and about 30% of these men actually had more than 2 centimeters of length gain. We saw an average decrease in penile curvature of 12 degrees, with more than 25% of these men achieving more than 20 degrees of curvature improvement. Two-thirds of patients who used the device stated they were satisfied with the treatment. And this was really the first study to show improvements in penile curvature in any patient utilizing a device for less than three to eight hours per day. The study itself is likely the strongest level of evidence that we have to support penile traction therapy for Peyronie's disease. Traction therapy tends to be well tolerated with minimal side effects. The side effects we see include temporary changes to the color of the skin on the head of the penis, some numbness or tingling uh, along the penile shaft, mild penile pain, and rarely do lumps or bumps or even swelling. All of these side effects tend to be temporary and go away once the device is removed. We recommend penile traction therapy as part of the treatment protocol for Peyronie's disease in many patients. This is ideal because it can be used early on during that acute or inflammatory phase or later on when patients have stable symptoms. The penile traction therapy device should ideally be worn for at least 30 to 90 minutes most days of the week for the first three to six months. And then we encourage patients to use the device maybe once or twice per week. We call this maintenance therapy. Patients are provided with what we call a durable medical equipment prescription and they may purchase this device, specifically the Restorex device, but other devices can be purchased as well, either in the Mayo Clinic store, which is here in our building, or online through the device company's websites. Occasionally, these devices will be covered by insurance. Otherwise, patients can use their health savings account funds. We do offer instructional visits with our nurses, and there are multiple online videos available to help patients use these device, devices correctly and obtain the best benefits. And we do recommend penile traction therapy be used in combination with other treatments such as surgery or injections. This ends another Mayo Clinic Men's Health Moment on Peyronie's Disease Penile Traction Therapy. If you'd like to schedule a consultation for Peyronie's disease or learn more about penile traction therapy, please contact us at the number included below. Thank you for your attention and have a wonderful day.